Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested.com, and here at CES 2016, we don't just have quadcopters, hexacopters, octocopters, there are also fixed wing autonomous drones. This is a, a new prototype from Parrot, it's called the Disco, and Frederick, you are the project manager of the Disco. This is just a prototype, you guys are just messing around, experimenting, right? So it's a new product, the latest drone from Parrot. Uh, this time it's not a quadcopter, obviously, it's a flying wing, the first ready-to-fly flying wing. Uh, there are three main parts, uh, two wings, one body. You just have to plug the two wings on the body, pour it on the product, and that's it, you are ready to fly. Yeah, fixed wing craft, it's uh, very s simple. There's only one prop, it's a very powerful propeller, but you're putting a lot of the same guts that you had in your Bebop drone into here. For example, the camera system. Is this essentially the same thing? Uh, a wide angle lens camera that gives you digital stabilization? So it's the same camera, but we have two kind of uh, video stabilization. For example, on the Bebop, we have a flat stabilization. And even if you have some roll on the, on the, on the product, video is flat. Here is not the case. Uh, if you have some roll on the product, you will have some roll on the video. So that means when you have some FPV streaming, you will have a very immersive uh, impression and we, you, you will have the feeling to be in the drone. So it will be very fun and very exciting to pilot. Now you mentioned FPV, and a lot of FPV flyers out there love fixed wing craft because it's really exhilarating to fly it. You can go really fast, you can go at long distances. What is the speed and range of the Disco? The maximum speed is 80 kilometers per hour, and you can fly with the sky controller to a maximum range of 2 kilometers. And that's limited from a, a Wi-Fi connection. With yeah. the same controller as the Bebop 2, that's a Wi-Fi extender on top here. Can this fly with your prototype with just an a iPhone or an iPad with a standard Wi-Fi? Will that work as well? It's difficult to say because with a, a, a mobile device, we do not know exactly what is uh, the range of uh, the Wi-Fi. So we prefer to say that it's better to use the, the Wi-Fi with the Sky Controller. With a mobile phone, it will work, but we don't know the range. It's difficult to say because it depends really on the mobile device. Now, flight dynamics of a uh, fixed-wing aircraft, even just taking off, how do, you take, how do you launch this? You just throw it in the air? So if you want to take off, you just have to shake the product, the motor will start to spin, and you just have to throw it up in the air. It will climb to 50 meters altitude and uh, it will make some circles in the sky waiting for your command. So, so th it does fly by itself. And how high does it fly? Sorry? How high does it fly while waiting for your command when it's flying in circles? Uh, the radius is 30 meters and it will long at, as long as you want. So as long as there is no command, it will turn in the sky waiting for the order and then you can take the hand with the sky controller to pilot it. So even though it doesn't hover like a quadcopter, it does have enough smarts to kind of fly in a circle about 30 meters above you. And then once you get your FPV headset on, whether it's a fat shark or something with HDMI, then you can actually fly with FPV, use controller, and take it up to that two kilometer distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Now, what happens if you want to get this back to you and you lose control of it? Can it also find you and return you? So for example, if you lose the Wi-Fi connection, the drone will automatically come back to your position and will make some circles around you. If there is no uh, feedback, no connection back with the Wi-Fi connection, so the drone will uh, go to land. Also, you can define a working area. So I don't know, 500 meters uh, or one kilometer. And if you go outside this uh, area, it will go back to your position as well. There is uh, automatic landing. So if you press a button, it will go to land automatically and you don't have to manage anything. It's automatic. Very it's just easy. glide to a stop, fall out of the sky, it's just foam. So you want to do everything you can to keep it from damaging itself or anyone else. So this is foam. It's uh, APP, so it's very lightweight. And it's uh, 700 grams. And uh, it flies very well. But uh, if you damage something, we'll have some uh, spare parts to repair it very easily. So you are planning to design it to be modular, so the wings do come apart. You said it's three pieces. Now, this top part comes off. Can we take a look at the inside, some of the guts of the Disco? Uh, yeah, so there is the main module here, and you'll have the place for the battery. We have the motor connection and the servo motors connection. Very cool. And you have you know, a gyroscope in here, accelerometer, tons of sensors. It's basically a lot of the same hardware that you would put in a quadcopter, except you're designing it 
for fixed wing flight? Uh, something more. Uh, this kind of part here is a pitot sound, so it uh, helps you measure the uh, speed of the air. So we are sure to not down, uh, fall down under the, the sole air speed. So we are sure that uh, the wing won't crash and won't fall back to the ground. Very, very cool. Uh, now you said this is an advanced prototype. Uh, how far is this away from being an actual production unit? So we plan to do this for the end of the year, by the end of the year, between this summer and the end of the year. It's going to be a long wait in 2016. I love the idea. Ready to fly, fixed wing aircraft, the pair of Disco. Thank you so much, Frederick, for sharing that with us. And we'll have more for you at CES 2016. Bye.